Today's video is how do we light this with this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pile of shavings with our ferrocerium rod, then ignite the shavings. That hot spark in turn should ignite our candle. One thing we need to keep in mind though, is that we want this wick as close to that heat source as possible. So if you can look at how this is laying now, there is probably a half inch, if not more, of a gap between the log and the wick. So all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna trim the candle down. Now I could save this wax, I don't wanna get rid of this, especially in a survival type situation. I wanna have that close. But you could see now, I could take that wax even this way and I can angle my candle down in place. You just gotta play with it a little bit. I can angle it right to where I want it before I light my pile of shavings. So let's get the candle out of the way, take our time and just start to create some shavings. Now we have a good pile of shavings. I'm gonna get my candle positioned to where when they ignite, the majority of the heat source is going to impact that. Okay, so now I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna throw the flames in to this. It might take a couple times, but that's okay. Remember, we just need to get this lit. And just like that, we lit our candle. So this, like any other technique out there, is another tool in the toolbox. Just look at it that way. Of course, there's a lot of variables that go in here. You might say, why do I only have this? Or why do I have that? Why don't I have that? But the reality is, if we have a skill set, we understand how to do this, there might be an opportunity at some point that we can use this technique. And that's all that matters. As long as we have the tool, we're good to go. So this was Dan Wolwak, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this tip on how to light a candle with a ferro rod. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods.